Hi everyone, um, I thought I'd just pop on and do um, a very quick video on a little uh, project share um, that I've made for Christmas and um, what I've done is a book folded um, Christmas candle. So basically these are created, there's literally hundreds of videos on YouTube and um, all over on all different types of book folding. Um, previously I've done the sewing spool, I have done the birdcage and I've also done the fairy house. I couldn't think of the last one so I've done those and basically they're um, a lovely project to do um, some are a bit time consuming but you know they're great you know if you're watching something on the TV and um, you can kind of be folding and you know before you know it you're kind of into a rhythm so they're um, they're very enjoyable makes so I said I do the candle this time I hadn't done one before and this was actually a very easy very quick one to do and as I say just used um, old books so, um, you know, pick them up from charity shops or, you know, you'll always find that there's books that you haven't read for ages and ages and they kind of put to the back of the bookshelf. So, you know, ones like that, that obviously are, you know, just your normal paperbacks. Um, obviously for the other book foldings, sometimes you need a hardcover one because you do need a backing in order to keep them, you know, standing. Uh, but for this particular make, it is just a normal paperback book uh, would do you. Um, Preferably, if you can, um, an older type of one, you know, one that's kind of maybe, um, you know, gone kind of brown and kind of old. Um, or if not, you can just obviously just ink up the edges with your distressings to make it look a bit more kind of old and vintage. And um, it just makes the folds um, just pop that bit better. So this is my book folded candle. I hope you can see it's really dull here again today. So I'm trying my best with the kind of lighting. Um, so you can actually see here underneath, if I hold it kind of in closely, so this is actually the book. So you can see here, here are all the different folds, and if I turn it to the side, you'll see all the different folds here going around. And then at the top you can see where the notches on each page have been cut out, um, to make obviously the hollow in the centre where you could put a candle, obviously not a real candle because this is paper that you're working with. Um, but you know those little LED ones that you can get now, um, they actually look like a little um, tea light. They're perfect for um, this project and um, they're lovely, um, you know, lighting at night and stuff like that. And great if you've got, you know, small little, um, people around the house that, you know, burn their fingers or, you know, they're a lovely safe little idea for little smallies that you'd have around the house. So I've just decorated mine up with um, this green tartan ribbon on the end. I've got the burlap with um, cream lace in the centre and then a red um, tartan up the top and then you can hear see up here at this very very top I've got um, all these little reindeer just basically prancing around the whole top and then in the center I have this um, felt uh, snowflake which is red and then I've just done a little Christmas arrangement so I've got a little pine cone I've got um, berries, frosted berries. I've got, uh, what else is there? There's a sprig of Christmas tree and here are the traditional red uh, Christmas berries. So that's my little project share. As I say, these would be one of the simpler ones to make. And once you get into the rhythm, you'd be so surprised, um, you know, if you're sitting down and watching something for an hour on the telly, you have it folded and stuff. Um, I know there is tutorials out there where they kind of glue each page as they're going along. Um, I didn't do that in any of the projects that I've done. I just waited till I got to the very end and then obviously the the two ends, I know it's very hard to see but you can see there, I've just basically put um, a line of hot glue um, down the centre of those and I just held it really, really tight and gave it a good squeeze and it stays in place absolutely perfectly. So that's my um, little Christmas candle. So I hope you enjoyed it and... Um, yeah, just a little something and um, as I say, yeah, lovely little project and um, great fun and something a little bit different that maybe, you know, friends and family mightn't have um, in their homes over Christmas. So um, that's all for now and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks everyone for subscribing and leaving lovely comments and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.